Hello, today I'll be talking about the transcription process. Now, the transcription process is performed to make enzymes, hormones, and proteins. And specifically, it's used to uh, make the blueprints needed to build uh, amino acids to make those proteins. Now, as we learned last semester, a signal arrives at the receptor and binds to the cell and it transduces via enzymes that break it down and this will help the signal enter the nucleus where the genetic material is stored but this is not the transcription process yet so let's start with the transcription process so the signal is now inside the nucleus and will here's the here's here's the signal the signal will bind or the signal will attach to the 3 prime strand and this will occur in the tata tata box where all the adenines and thymines are located like right here there's many of them so this is the title box and it will link right here no let me change the code so we'll bind here change the color real quick and this is the three prime and see how it connects see how it's on the same strand and it the other end will be a five prime right here and these are anti-parallel strands so first things first an enzyme named helicase splits the dna strand into two like right here unlike here how there's the base pairs are still connected here they're split and this allows the RNA strand to be made now how now how now that the signal has arrived this is now called the RNA polymerase and it will travel from a 3 prime end to a 5 prime end and it will read all the codes and while it does that behind it it will leave an RNA strand and that's what it'll do until it finally reaches a stop code on yeah and so when reading the codes again it makes the RNA strand now the R the codes it reads is gonna be the RNA strand is gonna be the opposite codes from what it reads and since it's an RNA uh, strand it will the u the uracil will, will st substitute for the thymine like right here there's no more t's because RNA has uracil not thymine and for example if you find a C you're gonna make an A if you find an A you're gonna make a U if you find a C you're gonna make a G and you find a G you make a, you're gonna make a C and you're gonna keep doing that till you finally reach the stop codon again like I said before so there will be a new RNA strand and this, once it reaches a stop codon the RNA polymerase will stop reading the codes okay. clean this up. okay once this RNA strand is made there will be a five cap in the front and what this does is protects the RNA from well from it protects it from anything uh, from something to happen to it so, yeah it protects it from anything happening to it and from the back we have what is called a poly oops, a poly -A 
and once it leaves it will contain important stuff and not important stuff so what we need to do for that is take out anything that we don't need because we don't need it for the amino acids so what will happen is that not important stuff let's say these this is an important this the the not important stuff are called introns because they will stay in once the RNA the pre mRNA leaves so just a note this is still pre mRNA because it hasn't taken out the the non important things and now we'll have the, what is called the or the important things for um they're called exons and this is the stuff we do need for the amino acids there we go exons so again the introns will be taken out while the exons will be uh, stay will stay in the RNA strand and continue and that's what will leave nucleus when going into the ribosomes once this happens we have a full functioning mRNA it's not it will be no longer pre mRNA it will be RNA, R mRNA and that will go to the ribosomes and in my next screencast I will be talking about translation which is basically taking the f this the important the finished mRNA and making that into amino acids so remember just to recap first step of transcription is initiation and that's when the signal binds here at the three prime strand and yeah and that's 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 the initiation now elongation the second step is when it starts reading and making the opposite and that's when the RNA that pre mRNA is being uh, made and remember that the introns stay in the exons stay out and remember that the five cap is placed in the front of the m the mRNA and it a poly A tail is placed at the end. And the final step is the termination processing. And that's this process is again this the part that I said that the five prime cap is placed and the poly A tail. And also in this process in this step, that's when the mRNA finally leaves. Or you finish with the the final mRNA and that is transcription thank you